guys, welcome back. Today, I Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my ColourPop lip products. Whew, this is going to be a big one. I'm super excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you love collection videos. I did just post my lip gloss collection video recently. Alright, so I'm going to do some swatches like I did with my lip gloss video. I'm going to swatch all of the lip products. It's going to be a lot and... It's going to be interesting because a lot of them are matte, so this will be fun, but let's do this. So let's start with these right here. These are the Luxe lipsticks, and these are all of the original launch, um, their cream finish. And then I have one matte one right here. So let's start by swatching these. And I don't know if all the mattes are like this, but um, like all the cream finishes, they tell you what color it is on the bottom, like the name, and then the name is like color coded with the type of color that it is. But on my matte one here, it's not like that. So I don't know if all the matte ones are like that, if that was just a fluke. If you guys know, let us know. But anyway, I thought I would mention that. I love the packaging of these. Little stars, so pretty, goes right with my background. Okay, let's get into swatching. So this one is on repeat. This one is Hello Stranger. Liquid Courage. This one is called Foolish. This one also has one of those clear stickers on it. So that's Foolish. This one is Gallop. 27. Getty. I feel like I'm noticing as I'm swatching these all in a row that some of them are more creamy than others. Some of all actually some of them actually feel matte, even though they're all supposed to be cream finished. So that's interesting. This is what if on display get a room ghosted and sitting pretty this one actually fell out on me i i think i had it twisted up too high yep there it goes so i had this one twisted up too high so don't do that but it's such a pretty color that i i had to save it so there is sitting pretty you know i have one more cream finish that's come on sis from the makeup shayla collab i'm not sure where it is because i love it and i use it all the time so it's probably out in my purse or something now i'm going to swatch the one matte one that i have in the shade called mind trick i'm going to compare this one over here to these shades yeah it's pretty it's different i mean they're very similar but not the same okay so those are my ColourPop Lux lipsticks now I'm going to start going through my liquid lip products from ColourPop. I'm going to swatch all of the ultra matte lips. This is from the holiday collection. I think all of these, which actually I really like about ColourPop, all of these were from their holiday 2017 collection, but I believe they're all available in their permanent line, which is so good because I love all of them. And it would just be silly if I bought like, I don't know how many it was, like eight or something lip lip products and then they were all discontinued like that would be really annoying so I like that they do that alright so this is in the shade lightweight this one is take a pixie fragile things whoa I got a lot there flurries souffle star crossed one is called viper this is Wednesday Snowflake, Lil Plump, Friday, Monday. This one from the My Little Pony collection in Lemon Drop. This one is Thursday, Sunday. Here's an example of something I do not like about these lip products is that this the label rubs completely off if you put it in your bag or something like the label's completely gone so you don't know if it's a matte or a satin i just remember that this sunday all the days of the week are ultra mattes but that's one thing that i wish they would fix this is mama Ooh, so pretty this saturday this one is very old it's called stingray it's from the it's my ray ray original collection this is one of the first ultra mattes i ever bought Stingray. This one is Aquarius 2. This one is called Take 5. And I have one more uh, sample size Ultra Matte in Pookie Bear. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this is way more Ultra Matte lips than I thought I had. This is, these are all Ultra Matte liquid lips. This is one category. This is way more than I thought I had. 
holy cow. Um, yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's move on to Ultra Satin Lips. <laughs> okay, let's move right along to Ultra Satin Lips. And I don't think I'm going to have as many as I have the Ultra Mattes, but I was surprised by the mattes, so we shall see. And I had 21 Ultra Mattes for anyone who was interested. Okay, this is in the shade Rain, as in a queen reigns her kingdom. This one is Dopey. Alyssa, Tulips, Femme, whoa, that one's super cool, Panda, Dohi, this one is from the Laura Lee Colourpop um, NKLA collection in BAM, Stud, this is the original Aquarius, oh, I have Aquarius 2 in an ultra matte, this is the original, neither of them are really my shade if I'm being honest. But I can make them work. This one is frickin' frack. Hutch. A little sample size here called Schnookums. Another one called Love Muffin. Alright, those are all my Ultra Satins, and I did find one Ultra Matte additional, so I'll swatch that quick, but let's count. One, two, three, fourteen Ultra Satins. So I was right. I don't have as many ultra satins as I have ultra mattes, so that's good, I guess. A uh, total of 35 right now, so that's a lot, plus this one. So I have 22 ultra mattes. What did I say? 14 ultra satins, and this ultra matte is called Honey Pie. Woo! That's really pretty. Okay, let's move on to metallics and glosses. All right, so let's start with ultra glossy lips. I've really come to love ColourPop ultra glossy lips. I do want to make a note that they reformulated theirs. I only have one of the new ones. I have flying horses and I actually, that one's in my purse because I love that one so much, but they changed the applicator. So all the ultra glossies I'm swatching have a doe foot applicator, but if you purchase them now, I believe all of them will have a brush tip. So the first ultra glossy lip I have here is Aquarius. That's pretty. That kind of reminds me of flying horses, actually. This one is lazy. Very shimmery. This one is wham. We have imagine. This one is believe me. This one is fingers crossed. This one is so pretty. It's like a duochrome. Oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. Suki. KT. This one is Sugar Lips. For Ultra Metallics, I only have a few. This one is DM, Mugshot, and Glam. So it kind of looks like these first two have maybe gone bad because they're so dry and just like, I don't know. I'll try them out though. They're pretty. They, I just don't use Ultra Metallic lips very much. Alright, so there are the glosses and the Ultra Metallics. Home stretch. All we have left are my lippy sticks and a few random other things. Let's, let's do it. And these lip, lippy sticks do have different finishes, so I will tell you what the finishes are. So this is I'm Yours with a cream finish. Whoa. The cream finishes are so creamy. Did you see that? Like the top just kind of broke apart. Only you in a cream finish. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. It doesn't help that it's pretty hot in here, but do you see that? Like, holy cow, that just came off in a huge chunk. It's pretty, but ew. Sure thing. This is another cream finish. Let's hope this doesn't make a mess. Weird, it's a cream finish, but it's so much less glossy than those two. Mmm, smells good. These smell like strawberry. And then the only other cream I have is Aquarius. The original Aquarius. Wow, that looks almost exactly like this one. I mean, I can't even hardly tell the difference. Maybe Aquarius is a tad darker, but wow. Okay, well that's interesting. I have a few sheer finishes. This is BYOB, Peacocky, this is Safari, this is Whip, Kiddo, 
and Tiger. Now I'm actually going to step off from the lippy sticks and I want to swatch. I'm going to swatch these three ultra blotted lips. I don't know. I know they sell ultra blotted lips in like the liquid lip formulation, but I don't know if they still sell these in the stick form, but I just am curious. I want to swatch these next to the sheer ones because I think that I expected these to be a lot like the sheer ones, but they were almost like drier. So let's just see. This is, what is this one called? Lexi. Yeah, it's, I mean, it definitely has that blotted lip look, but it's not hydrating at all or like, you know, it doesn't have that like hydrating, almost glossy look of the sheer ones. It's definitely kind of a matte blotted lip, which is okay. It's just not what I expected. And it did pull on the lips. I remember when I used these, so. This one is called Deja Vu and this one is called Exotic. So they're just building it up a little bit. It builds up a bit, but not a ton. They're really pretty. I just, I feel like, I don't know. It's weird that they have ultra blotted lips and then also sheer, you know? Anyways. Okay, so let's start with matte and then we'll go to matte X. So this one is a matte in Polite Society. is Taurus, one of my all-time favorite shades. This one is called Dukes. It's all kinds of weird noises happening in the apartment above us. I don't know. This is Juju Rouge. All right, and that is it for mattes. Now let's move on to Matte X. Matte X formula are really nice because they dry down so matte that they're transfer proof. I don't know how they do it, but they do. Okay, this is Goldie. Wow, that looks similar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Juju Rouge is discontinued though, so a lot of these are probably discontinued. I'm going to link everything in the description box, and if it is discontinued, I will let you know down there. It's going to take me a while, so if you're curious, check out the description box. This one is Glam Bag, Love Life. This one is With the Band, New Rules, Jingle Ladies. Generation X. This one is called Can't Wait. Ooh, that's pretty. Candy Paint. Oh my gosh, those look so similar. They're a little different, but I mean, that happens a lot with ColourPop because they release so much all the time. There's got to be some similarities. I mean, these ones are slightly different, but very, very similar. Aftershock and Ziggy. And who run this? Okay, that's it for the lippy sticks. I have some pretty colors right there. Let's do the lippy pencils. I always want to call them lippy liners, but their official name is lippy pencils. So let's do these. This one is Dukes, Dohi. Do you see this? This is hap happening a lot. <laughs> this is the second time this happened to me when I opened it. The pencil just kind of falls out. I mean, you can push it back in, but like, just wanted to let you know. This is Aquarius. Taurus, Juju Rouge. Okay, my camera cut off. I'm not sure if you saw the last one, but this was Juju Rouge and this is Polite Society. And I was going to say, I really do like the formula of the lippy pencils. My only issue is with sharpening them. Um, I feel like they need to kind of fix this whole situation. The fact that the, I almost said lead, it's not lead, but the pencil part falls out. Um, the fact that that happens is not cool. And then they're just hard to sharpen. I find like, where's an example? Like this one, I feel like is a good example of, you can see like the pencil part is like down. You, do you see what I mean? Like it's just hard to sharpen. Once you get to that point, they're kind of hard to sharpen, but I can make them work. It's just a little difficult. So they're not terrible. It'd be awesome if they were twist up though. That would be amazing. Can we do that and not raise the price? Cause that would just like make my life. The only other thing I want to talk about is this guy. This is the crystal lip balm. I'm not sure if they even sell these anymore. I'm not sure if these are still available. It's one of those products that had a lot of hype when it first came out and I hear nothing at all about anymore, but I like this lip balm. This is the Amber crystal version. Um, here's a swatch of it. You can't really see much, but you can see a little, and that's what I like about it. It feels really good. It smells so good. Mm, oh, it smells like tropical paradise. And 
I like that there's just a sheer little bit of a tint on it. So I really do like this one. I need to use this more. Um, but yeah, that's my ColourPop lip collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun with this. Like seriously, I love going through my products and swatching them because it just encourages me like, it reminds me of what I have, encourages me to use them. I'm all fired up. I have all these different combinations in mind that I can't wait to try. And I've had all of these ColourPop lippies in a box for probably like a month, meaning to film this video. So I'm so glad that I did. Cannot wait to put these away and jump into them. Let me know what collection video you would like to see next. I can do more ColourPop. I could do Super Shock Shadows. I could do Pressed Powder Shadows. I could do everything else from ColourPop that I have. Um, I could do anything you want to see. Let me know what you would like to see next. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all so much, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye!